Trumpet Nomenclature, a primer. Produced by instructors in the Band Instrument Repair Program at Minnesota State College Southeast Technical in Red Wing, Minnesota. John Huth, Greg Beckwith, and Lucas Pemberton. Now we're going to start with the basics here. In the bracket right now is the mouth pipe assembly. And the mouth pipe or lead pipe assembly is comprised of the mouthpiece receiver, the mouth pipe or lead pipe tube, the upper outer main tuning slide tube, and the finger hook. Let's move on to the valve casings. Casings are typically numbered, with the first piston casing number one being that which is closest to the player. And of course, we have piston casing number two and piston casing number three. Moving on to tuning slides. What's in the circle is the main tuning slide. The main tuning slide adjusts the overall tuning of the instrument. Each valve slide adjusts only those notes routed through it by its valve. The first valve slide, the second valve slide, and the third valve slide. When the slides are out, we call them assemblies. The main tuning slide assembly, the first valve slide assembly, second valve slide assembly, and the third valve slide assembly. Focusing specifically now on the main tuning slide assembly, we have the main tuning slide crook, upper inner main tuning slide tube, lower inner main tuning slide tube, and those of course match into the upper outer main tuning slide tube and the lower outer main tuning slide tube attached to the trumpet body. Back to the main tuning slide assembly, we have the upper main tuning slide ferrule and the lower main tuning slide ferrule. Finally, we have the water key, and this is an Amato type water key. Now, some instruments have Amato water keys or similar non disturbance type systems to evacuate spit and condensation, but most have traditional water key assemblies. Now, the parts of this are the water key, the water key saddle or bridge, which is attached to the crook, the water key spring the water key screw or pin, the water key nipple which is also attached to the main tuning slide crook, the water key cup, and finally the water key cork or pad. Now taken apart we're going to see the same parts just easier. The water key, the water key cup, the water key pin or screw, the water key spring, the water key bridge, the water key nipple, and the water key cork, and sometimes there's a synthetic pad there. Now the first valve slide assembly. We have the upper outer first valve slide tube. We have the lower outer first valve slide tube. We have the first valve slide cross brace. Now to the slide assembly, we have the first valve slide crook, the first valve slide draw or pull knobs, the upper inner first valve slide tube, and the lower inner first valve slide tube. We also have the first valve slide upper ferrule and the first valve slide lower ferrule the second slide assembly. Upper outer second valve slide tube, lower outer second valve slide tube. Upper inner second valve slide tube, lower inner second valve slide tube. Second valve slide crook, second valve slide upper ferrule, second valve slide lower ferrule. second valve slide draw or pull knobs. Now note this, 
Most lights have a single pull or draw knob. Now to the third valve slide assembly. Now this is an inner outer type of slide. Notice the lower inner slide tube and the upper outer slide tube as indicated by the arrows there. Don't forget the third valve slide cross brace there as well. We have the third valve slide crook, and we have the third valve slide a motto type water key. On this slide, we have the third valve slide liar holder, the third valve slide liar holder screw, and the third valve slide finger ring push rod, and third valve slide lower tube ferrule. Now, some variations. The third slide finger rings on most intermediate and professional trumpets are permanently attached, as in this example. The advantages of the lyre holder on student trumpets include the ability to adjust the fingering push rod as hands grow and to install a lyre holder for marching. Now note too the traditional water key assembly, and one thing to keep in mind is that the curve on the third slide water key is greater than that on the main slide water key. Now some variations on the first valve slide. First valve slide saddles for tuning are found on some student but most intermediate and professional trumpets. Note too that the first slide above is an inner outer type. Now top sprung valve casings. Piston casing number one, piston casing number two, and piston casing number three which is closest to the bell. Piston casing baluster number one, baluster number two, and baluster number three. First bottom valve cap, second bottom valve cap, and third bottom valve cap. Moving on to casing knuckles. Knuckles are the tubes that root the sound throughout the casings. They are permanently attached to each valve casing. Here we have the upper first slide knuckle, lower first slide knuckle, lower main tuning slide knuckle, upper second slide knuckle, lower second slide knuckle, upper third slide knuckle, lower third slide knuckle, second to third casing knuckle, first to second casing knuckle, and bell knuckle. Top sprung piston parts. Here we have the piston assembly. Note, for certain, the pistons will be numbered. Other parts may be numbered on older or custom-made instruments. The finger button or valve button, the top valve cap, the top valve cap felt or bumper for downstroke adjustments, the valve stem, and valve stem upstroke bumper, the valve spring, and the valve guide. Now here we have the piston valve, and the piston valve has the piston body, the spring barrel, and the ports, which are the tubes that route the sound through the casings. Note, it is, it is the piston port that aligns with the casing knuckle, a critical alignment point. Now the bell. the bell flare, the bell rim, the bell throat, the bell stem, the bell bow, and the bell tail. 
Now with braces. Typically, but not always, braces are identified by the parts they connect. For example, this is the casing to bell brace. This is the casing to mouth pipe brace. This is the first slide to bell tail brace and the main slide to third slide brace. This is the second casing to third upper spanner brace and the second casing to third lower spanner brace. Mouth pipe to bell brace rear. Mouth pipe to bell brace front. This is a three-piece main tuning slide brace and a three-piece main tuning slide brace which is attached to the body. We have third slide cross braces. Notice the upper one has two. Now, third slide stops. It's common for trumpets to have some sort of stop assembly to help prevent the third slide from falling out and being damaged. This assembly that you see here is common on Bach instruments. It is comprised of a number of parts. A simpler, more common third slide stop is shown here. The slide stop screw is integral to the first slide to third slide brace. The third slide stop ring bumps into the slide stop screw. And here's just a better view of it. And that's all we have for now. Thank you.